Um, and they were going down the elevator. I was going down the elevator too. And they were like, hey, you work here? I said, yeah, I do street team. They said, oh, okay, word. I said, yeah, I do. I also do college radio over at Long Beach State. I was like, oh, word. This is my artist over here. Um, you know, here, take my contact. Take my take my chirp at the time. Right, yeah, the chirp chirp. Yeah, yeah I remember take the, the next tail chirps. You know what I'm saying? At the time, here's our information. Boom, boom, boom. I was like, yeah, oh, yeah, pull, pull up. I was like, you can actually pull up next week. Um, I, I got a show, a uh, slot open. We'll get you on. All right, cool. Yeah, my artist's name is J-Rock. Bet, no problem. Come on through. So this is I'm talking the top punch, and and J Rock was in the, in the in the elevator as well. We're going down, exchanged contacts. They pulled up, and um, this was like 2006, 2007. So as he was he was signed to Warner, and his album started to roll out, they were like, "Hey, um, is it possible? Can we can we do another interview? We want to bring some other cats with us, but you know this is what we got going on." Yeah, little homie, uh, K Dot. We're gonna bring uh, the homie uh, uh, Ab Soul with, with us too. They came and, you know, it was it was just showing them like, yo, we still got love for everybody. We know J-Rock, you're the star, but you guys got a voice too and you guys are dope. So, hey, come on this platform. We're going to interview you as well. And then, lo and behold, K-Dot becomes Kendrick Lamar, you know what I'm right. saying, and Top Dog Entertainment. These are these individuals who are household names at the time, but you, you built that trust by showing them that you're supporting them from day one. You know, I could have right. easily been like, oh, yeah, I work at the beat, man. You ain't got no, ah, I'm cool. Like, I could 